Сперников и первый бойца в синем углу. Introducing to first fighting out of the blue corner. Ему 26 лет. Рост 180 сантиметров, вес 69 и 65 сотых килограмма. С профессиональным рекордом 4 победы и только одно поражение его стиле ММА. Ladies and gentlemen, he's 26 years old, standing 180 centimeters tall, official weight 69.65 kilos. As a MMA practitioner with professional record, four victories and only one defeat. Дамы и господа, из Кисловодска, Россия, Владислав Чернобривцев. Его соперник в красном углу, fighting out of the red corner. Бойцу 22 года, рост 177 сантиметров, вес 70 и 2 десятых килограмма. Профессиональный рекорд 5 побед, 3 поражения при одной нищей и его стиль ударная техника. Ladies and gentlemen, he's 22 years old, standing 177 centimeters tall, official weight 70.2 kilos. Professional record, 5 victories, 3 defeats and 1 draw. He's a striker. Из Краснодара, Россия, Фотон, Владимир Шмельдов. Рефери Максим Протасов. So we look at the tail of the tape here. 26 years of age, Chernov Ritsev, taking on the 22-year-old height and reach massively on the side. Chernov Ritsev, Chernov Ritsev, blue corner. Vladimir Shmelev in the red corner. Three five-minute rounds. Should they go the distance? Me, Brian Lacey, alongside Brad Pickett here at ACA 125. Big looping overhand right already early from uh, Shmelev, Brad. Yeah, no feeling that possibly going straight into it. That's a nice little stiff jab there as well. You definitely you see, you see that yeah, uh, Vladislav has that range of mileage. Vladislav, oh, nice little uppercut as he came in. Interestingly enough, I was backstage just as uh, Vladislav Chernobritsev was warming up and they asked him if he wanted his hands wrapped. He's opted not to have them. That usually implies he's looking to grapple, but early on, Shmelov is the one pushing the pressure and looking to clinch. Working extremely hard in this case, right in front of us in the commentary position. Vladimir Go got the right tackle game. You need, you need to close that distance, go against the cage. He's got to understand as well. If he does get this takedown, it's be very aware because Alex is very savvy. He's tricky and he's already controlling that wrist. He's not afraid of going on the ground. Very much as a, a uses those limbs extremely well. The butterfly sweeps, as well as the triangles you talked about. Lots of pressure early on coming from Vladimir Shmelev in the red corner. Surprisingly strong as well, Shmelev feels. Or seems to feel. Yeah, I'm also, he's never been the distance as well, and, and he's got a bit of a frantic sort of pace. Well, he's only been to the third round, I believe, for just once. And when I saw that fight, he did look in good shape. He, and they say he, he, in that point, he was in a lot of bad positions. But when you're in bad positions, he suddenly makes a lot of gas down. But he seems to be pretty fresh. He's one of those people who just has that natural gas down. The stuff trying to bridge seven the blue corner also as we said coming down from well to weight down to lightweight he's very very tall as well i think over six foot in this lightweight division body lock clinch here for Vladimir. vladimir vladimir's using this all time from now we're trying to look for a little sweep a sweep here I'm just talking about anatomy and takedowns here. But when you're up against the taller man against the cage, what, what's the key? To be honest, if you're going in, trying to get down into a double leg, I know he was trying to do the body lock, but he did not get up and try to lift that. I saw it, he'd like, he done a few times, kind of like a suplex. It's so hard when you lift it, and the guy's feet are still on the floor. So he's very much uh, not easy on the feet when uh, the guy's a bit smaller. Trying to break up his turn the ground now. First time he's managed to put the back of Vladimir Shmelev on, uh, on the cage. Both of these two, just to the side, see how they are dip, dicking into the red basket. Yeah. 
This is it, it's just this battle for position. Both of them have been here. No one's choosing to lead the breakaway. So they are just reversing back. It's going to be a real tight, tight, uh, tight one to score because it's been here literally the majority of the round. Massive the eye catching moments between the two here. I suppose you could argue most of the pressure towards the cage has come from uh, Vladimir Shmelev. Yeah, he's in cage control. Stepping in, gripping the, uh, the cage there, the referee keeping his eye on that. This is, tactic wise, this is definitely what Vladimir needs to do. Make the range Veloslav has. And this, you saw earlier, he landed a couple of nice little jabs. And you saw that Vladimir kind of throwing his over right, he's trying to close that distance. Missing his punches by a mile. Now here, back on the open here. 30 seconds. Can anyone steal the rounds? Catch him working. So Vladislav trying to lose a walk. He's down. Oh, that overhand right. Oh, the left came up that time. That was nice there from Vladimir. Nice little on the inside by Vladislav as well. Through the overhand right. Throwing the ball and then they connect once again. Oh, he's looking for this. It's a standing Ezekiel there. Oh, very hard to score. Possibly Schmeller just edging it just with the pressure. A couple of those hooks that especially. And what I liked about that uh, over that left hook the court, he threw the overhand right almost to yeah. swing and miss, but just, just to cover distance and to come up with that left hook. That was a nice uh, shot. Two sets go underway. Vladislav Chernobritsev in the blue corner. Vladimir Shmelev in the red. We did also see a takedown right down in that round. Literally right at the buzzer. He did get to see any of the work on the floor. That's the thing with Vladislav. All the work I've seen him do on the floor is when he gets oh. taken down. That's what he does. He's really tricky on his feet. And people don't normally like that. And they go for a takedown. And half the time he kind of lets them take it down because he, he obviously is like going into a spider's web. And that was nice as well. You saw Vladimir Shmelev in the red corner throw that overhand right. He looked to come up with that left hook, but he was met by a nice uppercut from Vladislav Chernobritsev. Yeah, he's done that a few times in the first round. Well. So I wonder if the corner made that adjustment or tactically spotted that as well. Oh, oh. nice right, straight right. And now going in on the single leg. Careful to give up his back here. Let's go for a triangle, I think. Oh. He's stepping over for the armbar, I think. This is a bad spot here for Shmelev. Oh, now the triangle. Look at this. Look at the speed, this groundwork. Shmelev wriggling, writhing, trying to get out. Now he's mounted. He would have had to see a bit of bit. You see the, how tough he is. This is such a bad position. I've seen him in this position before. He's oh, tapped. Wow. Cherna Britsev, we said when it hit the mat, watch out for that triangle. And instantly he set up from armbar to triangle, rolled and moved with a very tough Shmelev. Yeah, but, and you got to understand how tight that must have been to make Shmelev tap. That has got to be one tight triangle. Absolutely phenomenal victory here. Nice stoppage. That will earn him $5,000 for the finish here at ACA on top of his show and win money. Really impressive stuff there. Talk us through the finish, Brad. Uh, first of all, when we were going to take it down, I, I thought he was going, going for the triangle. Then he opted to the armbar and he was putting the armbar. Then, then obviously, Shemev was actually defending that pretty well. He switched it straight to a triangle joke. And then he, he just like compressed it down, had to pull his head down, change your positions, and then and forced the tap. Beautiful finish. What a finish. Let's make it official. Let's hand it to Alexander Zagorski. Дамы и господа, время остановки боя минута и 27 секунд второго раунда. Ladies and gentlemen, have a time. One minute and 27 seconds of round number two. Удушающим приемом треугольник победу одержал. And your winner by submission, victory triangle choke, Vladislav Chernobrivtsev.
И аплодисменты ему сопернику Владимиру Шмелеву.